All right, guys, it's time to set up the web size export preset. So let's start with the print size export preset and make some adjustments. First, we're going to put this in a different subfolder. So let's put this into 0, 02 and we're going to call it web sized. And then we're going to leave all this other stuff defaulted where we had it before. File naming, we don't need to change anything here because once again, it's using the file names that we just renamed prior to this. Okay, so leave it off. Next video, same thing. We don't need to worry about video file settings we do need to worry about. We're going to change this. So what I'd recommend is you guys use a quality of around 75 to 80%. That's kind of the point where it's you get a nice reduction in file size, but not too much where it's degrading the overall quality of the image. We do the quality adjustment because we want our images to be slightly smaller. So when we're using them on the web or sending them via email, they're small and they're easy to kind of view and receive and send and everything like that through web mediums, okay? So everything else we can leave the same. If you guys want, you can limit the file size to a certain size, but I wouldn't recommend it because oftentimes it'll degrade quality too much in order to get to that file size. Okay, so just leave it there. Let's go down to image sizing. Now for image sizing, we do want it to resize. And we want to resize, I usually just have this set to long edge. And our blog is 850 pixels wide, so that's the max that I have it set to. So. You guys can choose whatever number. I wouldn't do more than like a thousand pixels, 850 pixels, or 600. Anywhere between 600 and 1,000 is good. Base it based on your blog size and what you're typically posting on. Okay, so 850 pixels for us is great because our blog width is 900 pixels. Let's go to resolution. We're going to dial this down to screen resolution. This is going to save a ton of space and it's going to make it so people can't print our images right off the web. So resolution 72. Now let's shrink this and let's go to output sharpening. For output sharpening, we want to change this to screen. And what I typically like to do is just have a standard amount of sharpening applied. This is just going to add a standard amount of sharpening. So basically it looks nice and sharp when you're viewing it from a screen, okay, from a computer monitor. All right, let's close that. Let's go to metadata. Once again, copyright only. Watermarking, this time we want to add a watermark. You guys should know how to set up your watermark. If not, refer back to that on the uh, Lightroom 4 DVD itself. So at this point, we're just going to select our watermark. We're going to choose the LJP stamp, and then we're going to go to post-processing. We don't need to do anything again with this once again, unless you want it to open up the window. All right, that's great where it's at. We're going to go to add. We're going to say 02 web sized. Make sure this is under the uh, same folder that you created for your workflow folder. Hit create, and then we're done with that one. All right, let's go on to the next video.